Welcome to another Figment tutorial. In this video, we will be covering masks. Masks allow you to show specific portions of other layers. They can be particularly handy when wanting to crop images or limit the visibility of objects within your project. Let's look at an example to see how masks work. Outline masks use the outline of the shape that is to be used as the mask. It is important to note that the mask will apply to all layers above it. Let's start by selecting a circle, which I will use as a mask to crop an image with. Now that our circle is selected, to use the shape as a mask, I'll go to the top menu and choose Use as Mask, or by tapping Control, Command, and M on my keyboard. We can see on the Layers panel that we now have a group called Mask Group, which contains our original circle shape. With our image selected, we will first place this layer into the Mask Group, which allows for the mask to be applied to the image. It is important to note that anything that is outside of the Mask Group will not be affected by the mask. With our image now inside of the Mask Group, we can move it over the original mask. As you can see, only the parts of the image which are directly over the mask are shown. If a shape has effects, such as gradients, shadows, blurs, etc., those will be lost once a mask is created from that shape. To reproduce these effects before creating the mask, you can duplicate the shape to be used later. Let's review what we've learned. Use Control command m to quickly create a mask. Anything outside of the mask group will not be affected. Duplicate the shape to preserve effects. Keep your mask as the bottom layer in your mask group. 